Hello YouTube, and Sophie here. Welcome back. We are almost, almost at the end of 2023, which is crazy. And I need to film an update for my 1,000 euros no buy. I decided in 2022, well, at the end of 2021, that I should go on a no buy because I have way too much makeup and it's worth way too much. So that's what I've been working on. I've been working on decreasing the worth of my makeup by using it up uh, by a thousand euros because I live in France. I'm French. So in this kind of video, I usually show what I finished, what entered my collection and some math. So let's get into it. All right, let's start with my empties. And as always, I'm going to start with empties that are not part of my inventory. I only have one this time. And this is a cleansing balm. This is the Youth to the People Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. I finished it. I think it took me, I don't know, three to four months maybe. I don't like this stuff at all. Like, at all. It's... First of all, it's really thick. Like, it's kind of hard. I... I realized that I prefer more, I don't know, creamy balm, like the one from pharmacy or the one from Sephora, which I left in my bathroom. But this one, it does melt on the face, but there's also bits that stays kind of hard and don't melt away that easily. And I don't know, when I'm spreading spreading this all over my face, it feels like Vaseline, which I hate the feeling of. So, 35 euros, I would, I would never rebuy this. No. Then let's continue with my skincare. I only finished two products. I finished Von Serum by The Ordinary. This is the Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1% Serum. This is the 60ml bottle. And when I started it, I saw a big difference. But then I guess my skin got used to it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I should continue to use this. I might, for now, I'm, I don't know, I don't want to buy anything, and I don't know, I, I think I'm going to buy this again, but not for now, and I'm sure in a few months I'm going to regret it because my skin is going to be crazy oily, I'm just too lazy right now. The second product, I'm so glad it's finally done, this is the last mask's I got this is from um, Shields Natural Skincare. No, Natural Science. This is the pur purifying peel off mask, the deep cleansing black mask. This is a peel off mask. Yes, as it says. And I, first of all, I don't need any mask. No, maybe I need masking. I just don't like to do it, too lazy to do it, it's just a pain, so I don't like masking, and this, I think I, I do not need that. So it's finally done, I wanted to have it done by the end of 2022, but I barely used it, but now it's finally out, so that's that. In the end, this was $14.99, this I could not find a price for it, so in my inventory, it's priced at zero. So for skincare, I used up 14, have I said 14.99? It's 14.90. Then let's talk about makeup. I finished one foundation, which was my goal. I wanted to have it done by the end of the year. I missed finishing it for, I don't even remember which, oh, I think it was Deck of Panning 
my decor panning project pan finale this is my adobe cover light foundation i wanted to finish it for that project or in that project i did not do it but this is officially done i had to take this topper out to get the last application um and i would not buy it i, I don't think it for my skin type when i i I bought this because I wanted a really fluid and light foundation but also when you would not use it for I mean just a few days you would see just a thick layer of what looks like oil which I don't need so it's finally done also the color was not good I had to add so much blue mixer and a little bit of a darkening mixer too so I'm glad it's done I think thanks to that I finished two foundations this year then I finished two concealers I finished um, my makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in the color C13 and the Estee Lauder stay in place flawless wear concealer in the color 5N deep I enjoy this concealer i mean it's fine the color is quite good however i had two i have one left and the um, like doe foot applicator broke on both so for how much 34 yeah for 34 euros <laughs> absolutely not i also finished this one and I also like the color. It's a little bit lighter, but also a little bit more neutral, which I prefer. I have said many times I'm struggling with too warm of <sighs> too warm foundations, too warm concealers. So this one can look a little bit gray at first, but I think it looks pretty good on me. It I think it was drying out though. Or it's really not that full but it's done and that was mm, that was $4.99 I forgot to say that the foundation was $16.99 when I bought it then for the eyes I finished one Inglot sample this is a sample of the AMC pigment in the color number 81 samples mm, if I cannot calculate the price of the sample, it counts as one euros one euro in my inventory. So this is one euro. I finished my NYX lip liner in the color espresso. That was fine. I thought I liked dry lip liners, and I still think I do but it was just a little bit too dry and also just if it was just a little bit darker it would have been perfect but it was not so that was 290 and i'm glad it's done i finished my my um charlotte tilbury matte revolution lipstick in the color pillow top medium i don't like this lipstick it's waxy I thought people were I don't know pulling my legs when they were saying that something can be waxy it felt waxy so I would never buy this again I do not understand the hype and I don't think I don't think pillow talk medium looks that great on me either so no reason to buy this lipstick again and finally i have quite a few nail products which never happens first i'm going to talk about the kiko milano first step nail cleanser i think this has been discontinued for quite a while it's almost like a dehydrator before you put on your base coat um i did not entirely finish it i just tipped the bottle while using it but i'm going to count this as an empty i finished one 
Nay Lacquer like from Kiko in the color 235. One Maybelline Color Show in the color Downtown Red. And I finished one Kiko Milano Perfect Gel Top Coat, which is a fast drying, shiny top coat. Also, in my inventory, it's counted as a declutter, but here I'm going to I count it as an empty. I don't know. It's uh, my second nail lacquer. This is the Kiko Milano nail lacquer in the color 303. I just don't want to use it and I have like a third left. Look, I've used two third. It's out of here. So in the end, I finished 14 products since my last update, which I think was in July, September. It was in September and 13 are part or were part of my inventory so in the end i used up uh, 111 euros and 11 cents of makeup and 14 euros and 90 cents of makeup which means in total i used up 126 euros and one cent of beauty products Now, for what came in, I only bought one thing, and that's a brown lip liner. I have two other brown lip liners, I'm pretty sure, from Kiko Milano, but they are not dark enough. I will finish them, but I just wanted a dark lip liner, so I bought one. And this is the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the color 17 Rebel kind. And that's the only thing I bought since September. I did not buy anything on Black Friday, which I have to say, I'm surprised. I thought I would cave and I did not. So I'm proud of that. Oh. I almost forgot. I also bought one skincare product. This is a face moisturizer by Mixa for blemish prone skin. Mm. And I'm not gonna try to translate that because my brain doesn't work at the moment. But yes, I bought two products and that's it and i'm pretty sure i bought them in either september or october but more than two products came in since the last update because i received a care package from stephanie from the channel the style stumbler i will link her channel below as well as in the i here maybe so what did she send she sent me quite a bit actually she sent me a dm on instagram because she was asking if uh, the becca blush i was regretting not buying was the mineral blush yes the mineral blush in songbird and it was and this is how it's looking like she decluttered it to me and I think I wanted a second color because I had another color in mind but I know I had songbird on my list which I'm so glad I have I think though it's lighter than I thought I ha I will have to try it to see if it does show on my skin hopefully it will that's 29.45 Everything is in euros, by the way. Then she sent me the Derma Blend setting powder, and I'm so excited because this is a completely translucent powder. It's only 12 euros here. Well, here, can't find it, but on internet, it's only 12 euros and it's completely translucent. So I might use that in 2024 to set my foundation so it doesn't turn warm. I also received a mini or a sample size of the KVD 
well setting powder in translucent and I did a little bit of math and this is worth 280 I also received a blush from KVD this is the Lolita um, eyeshadow and blush and this is how this is looking like this is a matte blush for eyeshadow I received the mini lila palette which is worth 28 euros I received two stacks from melt I received the haze stack and love sick stack and I was so sad is it this one yes I had to repress the shade mm, haze no I don't think so yes I had to repress the shade haze because it shattered in transit but I think I did a good job I did not remember it was that flat but that's 48 euros each I received three eyeliners from Laura Geller these are the eye care waterproof eyeliners in vivid violet mocha cafe and black and each or 23.90 I received two lipsticks from bite I received one in the color rhubarb which I think a lot of people really loved we'll have to see on my skin tone and I also received the color cayenne which is a bright red I also received the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in the color She Devil and it was in perfect condition just the first time I swatched it I pushed the cap too hard and it cracked and smashed the tip of it I also received this e.l.f. Uh, like crayon lipstick in the color wine which I used to have that's funny I used to have it and I finished it it's back into my collection that's worth three euros and have I talked about everything yes and the last one is a brown lip liner <laughs> this is the melt all day every day ultra matte lip liner in the color edible and I received it two days after having bought my NYX lip liner well I have two now and I really enjoy this one by the way the melt one so in the end um, 15 products came into my collection and they are worth 320 euros and 39 cents so if we take all the products that went in and subtract all the product that went out my makeup stash or my inventory I guess went up by 100 euros or 194 euros and 38 sense and it went up by two products <laughs> so as you can see I am not closer to ending my no buy <sighs> so in the end since I started my no buy on the 1st of January of 2022 I have now 44 more products than when I started it and my inventory is now worth 404 euros and 9 cents more so if I wanted to get out of this no buy <laughs> I would have to finish 1404 euros and nine cents worth of products which is a lot like a lot 
especially because I don't finish that many things. I don't finish that much makeup mainly and I don't have a lot of skincare left and my skincare is not expensive at all. <sighs> my main problem is most of my stash is really affordable and because I'm getting older and have more money than when I got into makeup, which I was a high school student, not even in college, in high school, I can buy more expensive products. So if I buy something, it's worth like two to three to even sometimes four products I already own most of the time. So anyway, I, I, I guess I still need to stay on this no buy. I don't really need any makeup really. Mm, maybe in 2024 I will have to buy a face primer. But that's it. I know that this one though was my last shiny top coat. But I have a matte top coat which I don't really use so I think we're going to have matte nails for a while if I do not cave and buy a shiny one. I just need to use it. I never use it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I can finally take pictures for my inventory and actually film it. I have three days left <laughs> to take all of my pictures, film it and edit it and it takes a long long time. So. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. So anyway, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. I will, yes, I will link my playlist in the description box if you want to check it out. <sighs> to see me struggling, really. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.